What up, watch peeps? You ever look at your collection and think maybe you went in a direction you shouldn't have? I think many of us have had that thought at one point or another. And if you're like me, your collection is like a revolving door with pieces coming and going all the time. At one point I had a very Seiko heavy collection and I think I was made to feel like maybe that wasn't good enough or maybe I needed more variety. Maybe, maybe not, but anyway, I pared it down to just a couple Seikos. Well, these days I think there's about 80 different Seiko models that I want and I'd be happy with a collection of nothing but. So I finally got my hands on one of the new Seiko 5s, the Dress KX. Let's take a look. I'm Pete and we are Chillin' With Watches. Wrist check. I'm wearing the Seiko Sumo. Now this is one of the new 6R35 ones with Sapphire. Um, I bought it pre-owned with a ceramic bezel insert that I did not like, so it has one of the old style fat font bezel inserts, which I think looks pretty cool, but it's a pretty neat watch. It's a big boy, but totally wearable on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. But we got something cool to look at here today. I've been wanting to check one of these out for quite a while. And I don't know, it's just one of those things I hadn't got around to, but I finally have. And had just come in last night, and I've been dying to open it ever since. But, you know, content, so you gotta wait. Let's put that tape off there. Some Hulk Smash. These are some new, different style box than I've gotten a Seiko in before. Looks like I opened the bottom there. Now this has come all the way from the United Arab Emirates. And I will explain why there in a minute. But eh, it looks like you get your standard Seiko books and such here. I'm only looking because I'm curious if this has a filled out um, warranty card. And it does. Pretty cool. All right, so what do we got? This is one of the new Dress KX. This is the gray dial also known as the Sex KX. <laughs> Either name, I think both are quite cool. Man, these are good looking watches. Now, I purposely bought the NATO version because if you look at that bezel, this is a brush bezel. I mentioned this in a different video. And the NATO versions come with the brush bezel, which I personally find preferable. The bracelet versions come with a polished bezel. So that is a really nice looking watch, right? Let your Seiko tag. This model is the SRPE61. So these have just a push-pull crown, right? Very nice. Looks like it has the um I forget what you call that day wheel, I'm drawing a blank, but that's a pretty cool one. Does wind. Now these are very similar to the SKX, which let's grab that real quick. So these are similar in that overall K shape, right? But you see they have a larger dial opening and they use, a, I think, a one millimeter larger crystal than the SKX does. So that gives them, and it's a smaller case at 40 millimeter, that allows them to use that skinnier bezel, which makes all the difference from if you've seen a mod with a smooth bezel on it. Just the thick bezel is out of proportion for me, and these look so much better. So it looks like it's a, a thinner watch. But those crown guards and the whole case shape and the lines are all pretty much the same. I really like the dial on this one. I don't know what you call that. Anthracite, gray sunburst. But it's got a really pretty nice effect. And I like that in combination with the more rugged looks of the brushed bezel. And if you look at the markers compared to the standard SKX. Now they are all similar in shape with the triangle, the lozenges and the dots, but they are applied here well they're probably not applied they're probably embossed which means they are punched through from the backside to appear raised and then i believe what they do is actually punch 
in the inside and fill that with loom. So it's kind of like a double stamping process. Hand set's almost the same, just slightly smaller. The hour hand's almost indiscernible, but the minute hand is clearly thinner. Second hand is almost the same, except that it's all silver, which a big black and white minute hand would look weird on this more sports style watch. The NATO, um, I've heard good things about these. It feels pretty basic to me. Uh, I do like these good old fashioned kind of rib NATOs as opposed to the seat belts, which tend to be thicker and just a little more awkward. But I, I don't think this is anything special. The hardware is pretty standard. The buckle feels pretty robust. In fact, I think that's the same buckle you get on the dive strap. Take a look at the case back, because these do have display case backs. And there you can see the 4R35 movement with the rotor being signed with the new Seiko 5 Sports logo. Looks really good. Now I bought this one on eBay from a seller in United Arab Emirates of all things, because they always have great prices. This one was I ended up paying $190 and they even DHL'd it, got here in like three days. So the pricing has come down on these and they all seem pretty readily available. This model actually probably being one of the harder ones to get. And look at the crown, it looks like a circular brush, not signed, but I wouldn't expect that in their Seiko 5 lineup. Let's take a closer look at like some of the transitions and all and see how they look. And go from brush to the little polished chamfers on the bezel. Same with the polished case sides. The dial looks really nice, really clean. Chapter ring appears to line up well with all of the indices. The text looks real nice and crisp. The handset looks wonderfully set there. Yeah, all in all, this looks real good. But not only did I get this, I also picked up for it one of the Uncle Seiko bracelets made specifically for this model. And you know, Uncle Seiko always gives you a bunch of goodies. You get stickers and these killer can koozies. These things are great. Maybe I'll include one of these with the giveaway watch for the thousand K subs, because I've got a couple of them. So yeah, I want to get this thing signed up too. This is the Uncle Seiko bracelet made for these uh, Dress KX. 20 millimeter tapers down to 16. Very simple clasp, but quite secure as you can hear in the snaps. Hollow end links that are made for the case. So yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna unwrap this bracelet and I'm gonna put it on this uh, watch real quick. We're gonna take a look at it. I right, got it all sized up and put it on here and it looks fantastic. Man, that is the Sex KX. Look how good that looks. So getting the uh, old spring bars out was pretty easy. This does have drilled lugs. And let me show you here. They use a little bit different of a spring bar. It's actually, uh, they came with like a shoulderless spring bar there. So that's a little different, but kind of cool. Now the Uncle Seiko bracelets use um, split pins. So that was real easy sizing. Just push them out, hammer them back in. So yeah, let's wind this thing up and see how it's running on the time grapher real quick. So it looks like it's settling in at about plus 10 maybe. Really not bad at all, especially brand new watch. Just took it out. I don't know if it's fully wound. I tried to put like 15, 20 turns on it. But the amplitude's great for Seiko. Beat errors, almost nothing. Real clean trace. Be curious to see if it runs much better on wrist, but from being honest, I'm never gonna check that. So perfectly happy with the way this guy's running. Going over the dimensions, these have, as I said, a 40 millimeter case. They are 44.5 millimeters lug to lug, and they come in at 11.8 millimeters thick with a 20 millimeter lug width. Now going over some of the other specs, these ones do have a Hardlex crystal, and they're running the Seiko 4R36 movement, which does have hacking and hand winding. They use Seiko Lumibrite Loom, and just a push-pull crown, which still manages to maintain 100 meters of water resistance. 
I weigh it at about 113 grams on this Uncle Seiko bracelet, sized for a seven and a quarter inch wrist. And let's see how it wears on that wrist. There's how she looks. Not big and bulky at all like a diver. I think this wears much better than an SKX actually. I mean, obviously it's smaller, it's thinner. A really great looking, great wearing watch. Now we've already taken a look at how it compares to its big brother, the SKX. Just to give you some sort of size comparison there. But something more appropriate to compare it to, how about the Notice Sector Field Case at 38 millimeters? You can see it does look a little bigger to me than the uh, than the Notice. Looks a little thinner as well. Eh, probably about the same. I would say these probably wear pretty similar. The Dress KX may be wearing slightly larger. And then something just slightly larger, the 41 millimeter Tudor Ranger, which to me is looking bigger. Obviously it is, but that bigger dial, smaller bezel, just creates a much larger appearance. And of course, let's take a look at that Seiko Loom. Keep the loom. And it's got great loom like Seiko's always do. Even more so when you think of it as a dress slash sports watch. That's just really great loom for what it is. Fantastic. So here's how it looks from slightly further back. We're so much better in person than I thought it would. Smaller too. It's so much more than a smooth bezel SKX mod that I originally pictured it as. I think the Uncle Seiko bracelet makes a big difference too. Let me know what you guys think. Share your thoughts in the comments. Before I let you go, sneaker check. Just wear my new Vans, Anderson Pack Collab. What's up? All right, that's it. I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.